This is calculus, topic six, homework problem number 33. Okay, we have the current price and we're looking for the um, consumer surplus. Well, we also need not only the current price but the current demand, so let's get that. So the current price is 70 in the formula. So we'll have 70 equals 100 minus e to the 0 0.1 q power. And I'll add e to both sides, so we'll have e to the 0 0.1 q power. And I'll subtract 70 from both sides and we'll get 30. Okay, now when I solve for the exponent, we'll, we're going to get the um, natural log of 30 equals 0.1 q. Now, to remove the decimal here, I'm going to multiply everything by 10, and we'll get 10 times the natural log of 30 equals Q. This is the current demand, this 10 times the natural log of 30. Okay, now, 10 times the natural log of 30 goes in, and now to find our consumer surplus. The consumer surplus will be found by 0 to the current demand of the function P of Q with respect to Q, and minus the current price times the current demand. So the current uh, demand is ten, 10 times natural log of 30. P is 100 minus e to the 0 0.1 q power. The current price is $70. And the current demand is 10 times the natural log of 30. Okay, now let's see the antiderivative of this guy right here. Antiderivative of 100 will be 100 Q with respect to Q. And the antiderivative of E to this power, or U, E to the U, will be E to the U, 0.1 Q. And the derivative of U will be 0.1, and the reciprocal of 0.1 is 10. So there we are. So that's our antiderivative. And this will be from 0 to 10 natural log of 30. I multiply this, we'll get 700 times the natural log of 30. Now, let's put the natural log of 30 into 10 natural log of 30 into all this. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay, and we'll get 1000 and the natural log of 30. Let's put this here. The, the point 0.1 and the 10 will multiply and give us 1. The natural log of 30 being raised to the e power will give us 30. So this will be 10 times 30. Okay, that's the first part. Now the second part, we'll put 0 in here. So 0 put in here gives us 0. Minus e to the 10 times e to the 0 power, which will be 10 times, or just 10. Then the minus the 700 natural log of 30. I can't put these two together right here because they're both attached to natural log of 30s. So we'll get 300 natural log of 30. This right here will multiply and give us 300. And this will give us a positive 10. Because we have a negative here and negative there. All right, let's figure that out. So 300 natural log of 30. And then minus 300. And plus 10. I get a final amount of $730.36.